Hello dear student, this is your question. Here we have to find the integration of given function. So first of all we write i as integration of x divided by, we can write x4 is equal to x square to the power 2 plus x square plus 1 dx. Why we write so? Because if we put t is equal to x square, the differentiation of dt is 2x dx. So in a numerator part, we have x. So in order to find dt, we must multiply it by 2. As we multiply it by 2, we have to divide the whole integral by 2. Now, let us uh, suppose that x square is equal to 2. So this is equal to half into 2x dx is dt and denominator part is t square plus t plus 1. Now let fx is equal to ft is equal to t square plus t plus 1. This can be written as see here t square plus 2 into t into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square why we write so because we here want to write this expression in the form of a complete square as we here add 1 by 2 we must subtract 1 by 2 square plus 1 right so this expression become t plus half to the power 2 right plus 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4 and this is written as root 3 by 2 square clear now this integration can be written as i half into dt over t plus 1 by 2 square plus root 3 by 2 whole square now as we know integration of a square plus x square dx is 1 over a 10 inverse x over a so we can write this as 1 by 2 into 1 over a is 1 over a root 3 divided by 2 that is in multiple in numerator 2 upside and tan inverse x over a and x is nothing but t plus half over a is root 3 by 2 right so after simplification we get 2 and 2 is cancelled out and when we put the value of t as x square we get 1 by root 3 tan inverse this is x square plus 1 that is 2 x square plus 1 divided by 2 multiply by 2 over root 3 and plus integration constant c so our final answer is 1 over root 3 tan inverse 2 x square plus 1 and here we see that 2 cancel out 2 over root 3 plus integration constant c so if we look at the option the option 1 by root 3 tan inverse 2 x square plus 1 over root 3 is option b so our answer is b hello dear student this is your question the question is integration of under root x divided by 1 plus x dx if we look it closely if we differentiate under root x we get 1 over 2 root x so if we put t is equal to under root x dt is equal to 1 over 2 root x dx so writing write this like i is equal to root x as we differentiate root x we get in denominator root x as dt is equal, is equal to 1 over 2 root x since we divide it by root x so we must multiply it by root x and twice and 2 now this can be written as 1 plus x dx now here we put root x is equal to t so here we see that 1 over 2 root x dx that is dx over 2 root x that is equal to dt so this integration become t square see here x root x is equal to t so, so root x square is equal to t square divide by 1 plus t square right and this is dt so we transform it like this now we can write it as 
i is equal to integration of c here t square plus 1 we add here 1 and also subtract 1 divide by 1 plus t square with 2 with in multiplication dt why we write uh, this like that because t square plus 1 cancel out uh, with t square plus 1 if we get in partial fraction so 2 this integration can be written as twice of t square plus 1 divide by t square plus 1 minus uh, here dt minus integration of 1 over 1 plus t square dt clear now this cancel out and the integration become i is equal to twice into integration of for dt is t minus integration of 1 over 1 plus t square as we know from the formula is tan inverse t so we put here tan inverse we write here tan inverse t right now uh, coming back to the substituted value t is equal to under root x so i is equal to twice of under root x minus tan inverse under root x plus integrate integration constant c so if we look at the uh, given option the option b is correct one hello dear student this is your question in this question we have to find the integration of sine 2x dx divided by 1 plus cos square x so first we write it as i is equal to sine 2x can we write as 2 sine x into cos x dx right divide by 1 plus cos square x clear now if we put 1 plus cos square x is equal to t why we write the, uh, like this because if we differentiate the denominator we get the numerator as we put 1 plus cos square x is equal to t then differentiation of uh, left hand side is 2 into cos x into minus sin x dx is equal to dt that is sin 2x is equal to minus dt so 2 sin x cos x dx can be written as minus dt see here minus dt over 1 plus cos square x is t so this is the standard one and this is written as i is equal to minus integration of dt over t and as we know integration of dt over t is log t plus c so this integration becomes minus log of t plus integration constant c so putting back to the value of t we write here i is equal to minus log t can be put as 1 plus cos square x plus integration constant c so if we look at the option we see that option d that is option d is minus log 1 plus cos square x plus c is correct one so option d is correct hello dear student this is your question here we have to find the integration of root x e to the power root x dx so first of all we write it as i integration of root x into e to the power root x dx now if we assume that root x is equal to t and if we differentiate it as dt is equal to 1 over 2 root x dx so if we divide it by 2 root x right we must multiply by 2 root x why we divide and multiply because dx over 2 root x become dt so substitute the uh, values chosen value that is root x is equal to t into e to the power t into this part is equal to dt and 2 into t so the overall integration is equal to twice integration of t square into e to the power t dt now see here we have to find the integration of two function one is algebraic one and one is exponential so in order to find such integration we use integration by parts and which whose formula is which formula is integration of fx gx dx is equal to fx into integration of gx minus integration of 
differentiation of fx into integration of gx dx now here we have to choose which fun we have to choose which function is gx and which function is fx so we generally choose gx uh, that function which is easy to integrate and we know that uh, integration of e to the power t is very easy so we put we choose gx is equal to e to the power t and fx is equal to t square so i can be written as c here 2 into this integration can be written as integration uh, fx fx is t square fx is t square here 2 into t square into integration of e to the power t that is integration of e to the power t is e to the power t minus integration of differentiation of t square differentiation of t square is 2t into integration of e to the power x that is integration of e to the power x can be written as here 2t and integration of e to the power x can be written as e to the power x dt again we see that here we again two function two, uh, uh, <coughs> two function which is to be integrated so here we again use integration by parts so so the integration can be written as i is equal to 2 into t square into e to the power t minus twice of integration of t into e to the power t dt this can be written as i is equal to 2 into t square into e to the power t minus 2 into t into dif uh, integration of e to the power t is t minus integration of differentiation of t is is equal to 1 into integration of e to the power t is e to the power t so here i can be written as 2 into t square into e to the power t minus 2t into e to the power t minus minus plus 2 into e to the power t so taken e to the power t common we can write it as 2 into e to the power t t square minus 2t plus 2 now as we assume that e to the power t is equal to x so the above integra integration can be written as twice into e to the power under root x and e to the power x square uh, under root x square is equal to x minus 2 root x plus 2 plus integration constant c here after integration we have to put a integration constant so the final integration is 2 into e to the power under root x if we multiply it by 2 the final integration is e to the power x into 2x minus 4 root x plus 2 plus integ integration constant c this is our answer here uh, here we have to write in place of 2 is equal to 4 so if we see at option we see here the option b is correct one because b is 2x minus 4 root x plus 4 into e to the power x plus c so option b is correct one hello dear student this is your question here we have to find the integration of dx over under root x x plus 9 so first of all we write this it this is as integration of dx over under root x plus x plus 9 now if we put here under root x is equal to t then differentiation of under root x is equal to 1 is equal to dt is equal to 1 over 2 root x so if we multiply here by 2 in uh, denominator we must must multiply the integra uh, whole integration by 2 so putting the value of under root x we find that 2 integration is equal to 2 into dx over 2 root x is dt and this x can be written as t square plus 9 can be written as 3 square now see here this is the standard form of integration and integration of a square plus x square dx is equal to 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus c so we can write i is equal to 2 into 1 by a 1 a is 3 into tan inverse x over t over 
3 right so putting the value of t we can write i is equal to 2 by 3 tan inverse t is equal to under root x over 3 so if you look at the option here we see that option d is correct one right Thank you.